Welcome back. The Sri Lankan Navy personnel allegedly chased away a group of Indian fishing trawlers at gunpoint and assaulted the fishermen in an alleged Mitzi attack last night. As many as 543 mechanized fishing trawlers had ventured into the sea for fishing from Rameshwaram last morning. The Sri Lankan naval patrol vessels encircled 10 boats and began pelting stones while they were engaged in fishing activities near the controversial Kachativa Island. Back to national politics, against the backdrop of disruptions in the monsoon session of parliament, President Pranam Mukherjee said that the possibility of early polls depended on the behaviour of political leaders and parties. Asked about the recent wasted session, Mukherjee said that leaders of different political parties should work out a mechanism to resolve differences and ensure that institutions of parliament can work. It's a question of how the leaders will behave, how the members will behave, how the political parties will behave. I think leaders of various political parties in parliament should try to work out a mechanism through which they can resolve these divergences of views and ensure that institutions function well. Trying to stay relevant to the current President Pranab, meanwhile, refused to join the debate over changes sought to be made by the government in retrospective taxation policies and disapproved sentiments that indicated lack of confidence. Mukherjee's remarks came against the backdrop of the controversial measures he had introduced in this year's budget that had come under attack from domestic and foreign investors. Congress General Secretary Digvijay Singh said that those who called him insane should first try to find answers to the issues raised by him. He alleged that Shiv Sena Executive President Uddhav called him insane as based on a book he had pointed out that the Thakarees had originally come from Bihar. It was out of frustration that some people termed him insane as they had no words to counter the issues raised by him, Digvijay said, adding that he was, however, not bothered by use of such words against him. On to the 2G case, the former telecom minister Air Iraja will tomorrow start cross-examining a key prosecution witness in a Delhi court. Raja, who was facing trial in the case, had earlier sought special CBI judge O.P. Saini's permission to defer his cross-examination of prosecution witness and Department of Telecom's former Deputy Director General A.K. Srivastava due to unavailability of his counsel Sushil Kumar. The Srivastava testimony assumed significance in the 2G case as he had deposed that Raja being the then telecom minister was the final authority to take decisions on policy matters in the DOT. Prime Minister Manmohan Singh has assets worth over 10 crore rupees, double that of last year. Prime Minister Singh has uh, shown residential properties, bank deposits and a Marathi 800 car as his assets. While the total worth of Manmohan Singh's two flats in Chandigarh and Delhi is over 7 crore rupees. He has bank deposits and investments worth over 3 crore approximately in various SBI accounts. The depreciated value of his Marathi 800 car has been shown as 21,033 rupees. Last year, the Prime Minister had declared total assets worth over 5 crore rupees approximately. Prime Minister Singh also owns a bank account in Dispur in Assam where he has a deposit of 6,515 rupees only. But a number of his cabinet colleagues are much richer than him. Among the richer cabinet ministers are Praful Patel with assets of approximately 52 crore rupees and Sharad Pawar with property worth around 22 crore rupees according to the updated list of assets of the ministers posted on the PMO website. Defence Minister A.K. Antony has assets worth 55 lakh rupees, the lowest in the list of the cabinet ministers. Centre proposes to implement reservation and promotion for SEs and STs in government jobs with retrospective effect from June 1995, according to the bill introduced in Rajya Sabha during the monsoon session. SEs and STs have been provided reservation and promotion since 1995. This was discontinued following the judgment in the case of Indra Sawni, wherein it was held that it is beyond the mandate of Article 16.4 of the Constitution. Dalbir Kaur, sister of Sarabjit Singh, the Indian prisoner in a Pakistani jail, has said that she was ecstatic after learning that Pakistan's interior minister, Rahman Malik, had assured that Singh could be released soon. Sarabjit, who is 49, who has spent 21 years on death row, is currently being held at Lahore's Kod Lakpa jail. Kaur said that the speculations of the early release of her brother were welcome, 
and she thanked Malik and India's Foreign Minister S.M. Krishna for their efforts. As I know from the media, that Adhaniya Rahman Malik Ji has talked about the fact that it will be very quickly and the government is working very quickly and will be able to go back to our home. So, we are very happy with this fact. We are very happy with this fact. And I am 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 very happy with Adhaniya Rahman Malik Ji. भारतीयों की भावनाओं को समझा और हमारे दुख पीड़ा का एहसास किया और कृष्णा जी की जो रिक्वेस्ट है उसे परवान किया तो इसके लिए मैं तह दिल से उनका शुक्रिया अदा करती हूँ और सदा मैं ऋणी रहूंगी उनकी और ईश्वर करे उनकी लंबी उम्र हो उन्हें सुख मिले मध्य प्रदेश नेक डीप इन वॉटर फॉर द लास्ट फिफ्टीन डेज फिफ्टी वन मैन एंड वुमेन बोथ यंग एंड ओल्ड है लैंड The plight has moved the nation, but it has taken the Madhya Pradesh government 15 days to wake up to their plight, sending its ministers to the protest site but commenting nothing and just buying time. Stating that the water level at the Omkareshwar Dam rises by 3 feet, they will lose everything. Adding that they were ready to die and be drowned rather than let sheer injustice be done to them. The Uttar Pradesh government has launched its flagship scheme, the Unemployment Allowance for Youth, at a massive function in Lucknow. Under the scheme, the government dispersed unemployment allowance of 1,000 rupees per month each to unemployed youth. Already, 5 lakh people have applied to drop benefit under the scheme from across the state. The move, one of Samajwadi Party's main poll promises during elections this year, comes six months after this government came to power. <laughs> उससे माहौल तो बदल रही है ऐसे भी पैसे देने जिससे कहीं ना कहीं कारखाने उद्योग यहाँ से लगेंगे जिससे हम रोजगार के अवसर पैदा कर सकते हैं ये छोटी सी मदद हम लोग इसलिए नौजवान में कर रहे हैं जिससे कि नौजवान निराश ना हो तमाम लोग कहते हैं कि एक हजार रुपए से क्या होगा लेकिन हम लोग मदद करना चाहते हैं जिससे नौजवान आगे बढ़ रहे गुजारा करने किसी के सामने उनको झुकना ना पड़े निराश ना होना पड़े इसलिए सरकार को मदद कर रहे हैं Claiming that the Samajwadi party was the only party ever to fulfill its poll promises, its chief Mulayam Singh Yadav said that breach of election promises was also corruption. Any party of such a big party is not going to be done. The Samajwadi party is not going to be done. It is only 24 states. And we will see all the work done. We have said that कि हम सबको रोजगार देंगे जिनको नहीं दे पाएंगे उनको बेरोजगारी का भत्ता देंगे a day after the Shah Commission report on illegal mining in Goa was tabled in the parliament, the Goa government is all set to initiate criminal proceedings against two former Congress chief ministers for their alleged involvement in illegal mining. Goa Chief Minister Manohar Parikar said that FARs will be filed against Digambar Kamath and Pratap Singh Rani, both former chief ministers and a number of bureaucrats and officials from the Indian Bureau of Mines and the Ministry of Environment and Forests in the next 15 days. At least 10 Assam Rifles Jawans were injured in a bomb blast in Bishanpur district of Manipur. The bomb allegedly planted by militants exploded at Kumbi area while the personnel were busy with their morning exercises. The injured were taken to their post of 33rd Assam Rifles located at Sendra, about 4 kilometers from the spot. The condition of some of the injured was stated to be serious. It's not yet known what kind of bomb was used by the ultras. No individual or group has claimed responsibility for the incident so far. Uh, we have seen only four members uh, taken by the helicopter. And, uh, uh, and also compound from the from their side, uh, from the 33 side, uh, 11 persons were injured, out of which four were serious. Social networking giant Facebook is making a huge effort to weed out fake profiles to prevent misuse of such identities. Facebook India business manager Pavan Verma said that if Facebook doubts the ownership of an account, it will ask the user to identify him or herself. It's another short break for now, but we'll be right back soon.